In this video, I am going to walk through how to connect FME Server 2018.1 to Active Directory. FME Server allows you to connect to an existing Active Directory or LDAP server and incorporate available users and groups into your FME Server security configuration. You can see that this is the homepage for FME Server. In order to connect to Active Directory, you must be signed as an administrator user. Find the security option on the left hand side on the menu bar. Once this is dropped down, you will see the Active Directory option. Because we haven't previously connected to Active Directory, we need to set up a new connection. Press the new button at the top right of the page. We are now prompted to enter in our connection details. You need to give your connection a name. Then we will need to provide the host and port for our connection. You can then enter connection encryption if you need to, and then follow with a search account name and the password. You may need to add authentication details, which you can do so below. Once you're happy the connection details are correct, press OK. Now you can see the FME server has connected to our Active Directory and the status is available. Now we want to import a user to FME server. You can do this by clicking on the Import Users button on the right hand side. If you already know the name of the user that you want to import, you can start typing and search for it. Otherwise, you can use the Manual Import option if you know the distinguished name. In this example, I'm going to search for myself in Active Directory. Once the user that you want to import has shown up, you can select them and press the import button on the top right. You can then see that this has successfully imported one user. Now I can go to the users page, which is under security on the left hand side, and go and look at that user that I have just imported. You can see here that they currently don't have any roles, so I'm going to need to go and give them permissions to do things on FME server. I'm just going to use the FME author and FME admin roles for this user. Now you can see that those roles have been applied in this view. Just like we imported a user to FME server, you can also import groups. Now to check that this is working, I'm going to log out and try signing in as that user. On the top right side at user settings, you can select log out. And now we've prompted for a username and password. For FME Server 2018.1, it isn't case sensitive. I can demonstrate this by typing in my username as so, and then signing in successfully to FME Server. Because that has allowed my user in, that shows that the Active Directory connection has been successfully set up and my user imported correctly. 